Hello, hello. So the first plugin that I'm actually going to show you how it works is the uh, dynamic map or DIN map. And uh, all you need for that is a web browser. And I'm actually going to paste the IP, IP address to my server and the port number for it, the special map. And this is how it looks. Uh, for me at least and uh, I changed some configuration here as well because uh, for example this uh, menu here to the right this is by default hidden so you need to sort of there's an arrow right here normally and it will automatically automatically expand but uh, I have it always out here and uh, normally the default also is the flat sort of map also the names are different it normally takes the name of the sort of world map so it's this overworld should be called just world and the nether is called world the nether and the end world the end but I changed that and I will make a separate video on how to configure dynamic map because you can all also have a, you know, a specific texture pack for it but right now I just have the default one. As you can see, I am I am on the overworld, the normal world, and it's a top view, as I call it. Uh, and you can zoom in with the scroll wheel or on your mouse, like this, and you can zoom in pretty far. And you can move the map around with the, holding down the left mouse button and just drag the map so yeah so this is top view and you have the uh, what I call 3d view it's called the uh, surface normally and yeah so this is kind of the island and the same thing here you just zoom in and out with the mouse wheel and drag the map around and dynamic map is actually by default you can see here it's actually hiding the ores uh, right here <laughs> so you will never ever see the ore like this but otherwise it's showing you know the lava pools <laughs> it's the bedrock so yeah this is kind of fun to have and uh, yeah and why it's called dynamic map is that it will automatically automatically update itself so when the people start to build it will automatic automatically update things and it's pretty fast actually just a couple of seconds later uh, the, day, the map will update itself but uh, it will take a longer time when people start to sort of go outside this area because uh, a chunk has a lot more blocks than when you start to build things so it will take longer to render that than just a regular placement of blocks you know so yeah it's kind of fun to have and also if there are players on the on the uh, server they will show up here up here and you can actually click on the players and it, it ma the map will automatically sort of go to that player so it's kind of a nice future so yeah and then we have the caves as well so you can see all the caves underneath the earth so yeah you can see all the tubes <laughs> and you can't really see it here because it's not big enough but you know the strongholds and stuff like that the mines that you have you know with the rails and stuff i don't remember what what they're called but they will also show up they show up as sort of the uh, just straight lines <laughs> so yeah that's caves and also you have the nether the top view of that also 
sort of a 3D view of that. And of course the end. Same thing there. And you see the spawn point. So you can see the spawn of the different worlds. Same thing here. The uh, spawn point of the world. It's right over there. And this is the default. It's kind of fun. A seed to have. It's uh, this big island in a big ocean. So yeah. <laughs> That's why I have this on the server right now. So that is kind of how the dynamic map works. And it's kind of fun to see when people start to build things. You know, it automatic, automatically updates. And you can see where people are. And there are, there are also a bunch of add-ons for this plugin. For different other plugins. For example, there's a essential plugin uh, which shows you different stuff like the mobs, essential mobs. Well, I know I think it's called just dynamic mobs or whatever. So it shows you where all the creepers and, and skeletons are on the map. There are another add-on for you know uh, grief prevention. And you can see all the uh, claimed areas <laughs> everywhere, and also who owns that claim. So yeah, there's a bunch of different plugins, or add-ons, I should say. So yeah, this is sort of how the dynamic maps works, or looks like. And I will make another video later on, how to configure dynamic map with the different texture packs and such and how you change the names and stuff like that. That will be kind of a long video as well because there's a bunch of settings that you can do. So yeah, that's dynamic map for you. See you later.